Welcome back to Crypto University. If you dive into Solidity smart contract development, you need to know about Hardhat. Hardhat is the go-to framework for building, testing and deploying Solidity smart contracts. And in today's video, we will go through each step to set up such a Hardhat project in just a few minutes. So let's go. Before we get technical, why we actually use Hardhat. Unlike Remix, which we have used in other videos before, Hardhead is a complete development environment. That means we can build smart contracts, we can run them on local blockchains, test them there, we can write unit tests, we can deploy them directly on live blockchains and many, many more things. And the best of it, we can do that super, super fast. So let's get our hands dirty and let's go into the code. Welcome back to our first Hardhead project. I have already started Visual Studio Code. If you don't have Visual Studio Code, you will find down in the description of the video the link uh, to download this editor. We need this editor for all the tutorials that we are going through to use Hardhead and to develop Solidity smart contracts. Next up, we want to check if we have Node.js installed. We need Node.js such that we can use Hardhead because Hardhead is based on Node.js. So what we do, we open a new terminal and we type in Node-V and we can see now I have Node.js installed with version 22.12 you might have another version or you might get an error. If you get an error that indicates that you don't have properly installed Node.js, you will find a link down in the video in the description where you can go to Node.js and download it and install it for your operating system. So now we are ready to create our first hardhead project. So we start with creating a directory with mkdir and we call it my first hardhead project you can see it creates a new directory and then we go inside this directory with change directory and our command line is now inside this uh, folder what we can do now is we need to create an npm in it minus y so what this does is it creates a node.js project it's just an empty project with one file called package.json, which is like a summary of the project, um, which also says which dependencies are here and so on. As we have now our project set up, we can install hardhead to this node.js project by calling npm install minus minus save dev. And we say hardhead, that's the name of our dependency that we want to install within this, uh, this Node.js project. We call that and this takes a little while because it's now downloading all the dependencies that it needs for Hardhead and it will add it to our project. Give some warnings, but in the end it runs successfully. And we can see here on the left, we have some Node modules that's installed uh, dependencies for our project. When we go here inside, we see that there are many, many uh, dependencies which are all necessary for hardhead to run properly and we can also see in the package json we see that we have a dev dependency hardhead with the version 2.22.19 uh, as we have installed now hardhead to our node.js project we can initialize a new hardhead project so we do that by calling npx hardhead in it so we initialize a hardhead project and what will happen, we will get a really beautiful um, user interface here where we can choose a project or a simple project to be created for our starting point. So what we do, we say create a TypeScript project. You can see you can create a JavaScript or TypeScript type safety project. So Hardhead is built up using JavaScript and TypeScript. So let's create a TypeScript project. It asks us where to store it. And that's already fine because we have our directory here. Uh, do you want to add a git ignore? Yes, we want. So that's for git for all our source control. Then do you want to install a sample project dependencies uh, with NPM? So do we want to have hardhead toolbox? We want hardhead toolbox. Hardhead toolbox is another dependency from hardhead. 
which we can use for testing, deploying and so on. You will learn much more about that in other videos, how to use this toolbox, what it gives us, which tools it gives us at hand to test and deploy our smart contracts. We wait uh, some seconds because now it just installs this toolbox and we can see that should be quite fast. Yes, it's done. So we can also see in the package JSON now that a uh, hardhead toolbox was installed. And that's it. Congratulations on your first hardhead project. So you have set up everything that you need to create a hardhead project. Let's go through the folder structure and see a little bit what was installed and what such a project brings with it. So we have a folder called contracts. That should be clear for you um, what is inside here. We have a Solidity smart contracts here. We have a log contract um, that was generated for us for this sample project. I will make the, the terminal a little bit more small to see that. You can see uh, we have a sample contract already ready and this is a log contract. It's not that important what it does. I will just explain you quickly. Um, somebody can deploy this contract with an unlock time. So you can say in the future, I want to I want to deposit some ether and I want in the future, I want to withdraw this ether. I want to lock them within the contract for a certain amount of time that I can define in the constructor. And then it's kind of locked inside this contract. Then there is a function that you can withdraw the funds again. But of course, it needs to be that the unlock time is already passed. So it needs to be passed this time, then the message sender. So the owner of the contract can withdraw the funds again. This is uh, often used in projects where people or where the, the owners or the development team locks some ether and they, they ensure to the community that they will not use this ether before a certain amount of time. And then it will be locked within such a contract. And then after the time expires, they can withdraw it and they can use the funds again. So a really simple contract, uh, but perfect for our simple use case of creating a hardhead project. Next, we have another folder called Ignition. Uh, when we open that, we see there, there is another folder called Modules and there we have a log.ts, so a TypeScript file called log.ts. And what it does, it describes or it defines a module which is here for deploying this lock sol contract. So it describes everything what needs to be done by Hardhead to deploy this contract. So we can see we define an unlock time, um, which is the January 1st of 2030. This is this time in seconds. Then we have a locked amount, how much money or how much ether we would like to lock. This is here defined. This is one GVA. And then we have a method call that we want to deploy a contract. So we say we want the contract lock. It's called lock this contract. We want to call this with the parameter unlock time. And we want to add some more options. We want to call a value. So that means we are want to send some ether to this contract. And we want to uh, send the locked amount to this contract while we're deploying the contract itself. And then we just return uh, this contract. So what it does, this uh, module is here for deploying the contract. It doesn't deploy it by itself. So we cannot just call this function and it deploys it. What it does, it's returning a future and Hardhead by itself calls all these modules to deploy the contracts by itself. So it's kind of a declarative uh, approach to describe how you want to deploy your contracts. And you can imagine you can now uh, define different modules for your different contracts and interact with each other. And then you can deploy, for example, the first one, then the second one that depends on the first one and so on. So you can kind of in a modular way, you can describe how you want to have deployed your contracts. Next, we have the node modules. As I already showed you, these are just all the dependent modules that we have installed. So that's not really interesting. Every uh, Node.js project has these node modules. But the next one, this is really interesting. This is the test folder. And here we have all our tests, for example, unit tests, integration tests. We can write tests in TypeScript. Let's go into this TypeScript file and we can see here are unit tests written already for us for this log contract, which will test the functionality of the log contract. So let's see quickly. 
um, we describe something okay right here so we describe lock we define a fixture so fixtures are some functions that we want to have called uh, before the, the, the before the the unit tests and here it's like setting up such a such a contract we define some constants um, we define some 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 signers that we want to use to deploy and and to call the contract then we actually load the contract and we deploy the contract and this fixture this deploy one year lock fixture we just call in each unit test so here you can see here's a unit test should set the right unlock time so what we do we call this fixture we just deploy such a contract with these constants and then we just check okay is the unlock time in the contract is it equal to the unlock time which was defined in the fixture and then we just continue should set the right owner was the right owner set the, the owner is the one that has deployed the contract and so on so now we are just writing for each um, case or for each um, code like for each line of our contract we, we are writing unit tests so how can we work now with our hardhead project how can we for example deploy the lock so uh, the lock contract with our initial module or how can we test our uh, contract using the lock ts file we start with a new terminal i need to see the inside my um, project first and then we called npx hardhead node what this will do it will start up a local blockchain for us on localhost so you see here we have many uh, locks let's see it say okay it was started a new node on localhost with the standard port and now we can interact with this blockchain which is started locally so what we can do now is we can deploy our smart contract on this local blockchain to deploy it we start a new terminal so the other we just let it run we see our our blockchain is running and we open a new terminal and we say npx hardhat initiation and we say deploy what do we want to deploy or which script or which module we want to execute so this is the module uh, this log ts which is in the ignition modules file actually what i need to do first i need to cd inside my uh, my first project otherwise this will not work so let me do that again and picks hard hat hard hat ignition deploy and we call this uh, this file so that is in the ignition ignition folder modules and then lock ts and don't press enter yet we need to also say to which network we would like to deploy that we would like to deploy that on the local host network on this blockchain that we have chart started right before so minus minus network network and we say local host to deploy it on local host so let's run that let's see what will happen we get some logs and that looks already great we see that one solidity uh, contract was uh, successfully compiled to bytecode then hardhead ignition was started hardhead ignition searched now for all these modules it say okay look the lock module let's go here inside the ignition um, file it said okay the lock module i would like to deploy and it searches for futures here so i get one future that means i need to execute this line of code to deploy this contract and he will uh, or he successfully deployed this uh, lock module contract and what he gives us back is the address of this uh, this contract and this is this one which is now successfully deployed as we have deployed our contract now to the local blockchain i would like to show you how to interact with it so you can see we have for example a public uh, function or a public variable on lock time i would like to see now on the blockchain on this contract that was deployed how is this value set what is this, the value of this unlock time if we go to our e initial script here um, we can see that unlock time is set to this value here so we should find on the deployed contract this value somehow how do we do that um, i will show you another thing of hardhead we can call npx 
uh, I need to first CD into my project and then NPX hardhat console so we can go into an interactive console within our blockchain. Um, we of course need to say network localhost to connect to our local blockchain. So let's see how that works. Welcome, everything perfect. So now we are inside an interactive console. Now what we do first is we are loading the contract factory. So like the, the contract uh, structure and then we load the deployed contract with this contract fun uh, structure to have our contract at hand where we can call uh, external function on that contract. So let's say const um, lock, I will call it like that. And we say await hre ethers. So we are using ethers, which is included into hardhead. And we say get contract factory. And the contract factory is called lock because this is the name of our contract. And you can see here undefined, that's fine. That's just anything is like returning, but that's fine so, so far. Because when we look into the lock um, a variable here or constant here, we can see that this is like uh, the, the, the contract factory of, 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 of our contract, of our lock contract. Now next we want to load the contract itself. So const, uh, we call it lock with a small L in the beginning and we say await. Uh, we use the lock contract factory and we say attach to attach a contract to this lock factory and which contract we need to attach we need to attach the one that we have it deployed so we are going to see which uh, deployment addresses we have used so we got this deployment address for our lock contract we copy it here and now we are loading our contract um, that was deployed and when we see here lock, we can already see this is a base contract with all the stuff here. So what we can do now, we can call methods on this uh, on this deployed contract. So we say await lock dot. And now let's see how looks our contract. We have here an unlock time, for example, a public unlock time. That means when uh, when there is a public in front of uh, such a such a such a, um, a field variable we can call the a function on this field variable to retrieve this one so we can read it uh, we say lock on lock time and then parentheses and when we call that we can see we get returned a number and this is exactly the number as defined in our deployment uh, module and we can see that this was set to uh, this this number here we can also uh, go there again. I think there was another, there was another uh, public uh, field. So we can also see the owner address. We can also ask the owner address, await lock.owner. And we get an address. This was the deployer address, uh, which was set to the owner. And like that, we can just interact with our deployed smart contract. Well done, you have learned a lot about Hardhead already and its functionality. The last thing that I would like to show you is about testing. I want to show you how to run all these unit tests that were defined here. What we do, we just start a new terminal again. We cd into the folder and then we call npx hardhead test and that's it. Test will run all the tests within this test folder and we can see they were all successfully um, executed and they were all passed. You can see this is really well here. Um, and all these it functions, they were executed um, successfully. And that's already it. Congratulations on your first Hardhead project. You have deployed a smart contract on a local blockchain. You have interacted with it and you have even tested it. If you like this video, smash the like button. And if you would like to see more content from Crypto University, please subscribe to our channel. In the comments below, let us know what you would like to see next and we will be here to show you. So see you next time.